Go away, go away, go away. Oh, poison swamp, of course. Of course it's a poison swamp. Well, I'm dying. Let's just get back. I didn't have any. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's go. We got my phone. We got everything. We're <laughs> this is literally I don't know what to do. Like this is genuinely like scary. So, I guess I'm wondering if maybe the deal is I should run run just run for it? This is so spooky, man. It's morning. Yeah, this is seriously eldritch. Go away, go away, go away! Oh, poison swamp, of course. Of course it's a poison swamp. Well, I'm dying. Let's just get back. I didn't have any. <laughs> this is seriously spooky, dude. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I didn't have any room. So I can't go that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm so freaked up, dude. What? What? I'm so freaked up. What? How do I get out of here? <laughs> get some crafting materials, I guess. Ooh, faded aired leaf flower. blooms in rotten lands. So whatever it means, we're in a rotten land here. It's th this r blood red sky is so... But, but, oh, if I get... Can I get up? If there's a different way to exit... This mine, I might be able to get to, um, I might be able to get to the road up here. Like, if I could get there, maybe. Oh, what am I doing? Try give up and short turn back. I 
of money going on. Oh, nice. <gasps> no, 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 no. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. <laughs> guys, guys, help me. I'm literally effed up. I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't want... No, no, I don't want the summoning pool. What? I don't... No, I don't want... No, no summoning. No summoning. What? Oh, turn that off. I don't... I don't want summoning. What? No, I can't. It, it says if you look up here, oh, it doesn't show it. Underneath my bar, the thing on the right, the condition, it's it's that I can't summon. It says I'm in a cursed place, or not summon, uh, can't warp. I'm in a cursed place where no warping is allowed. I see what you were talking about after image. Yeah, it's like literally like hard crystal that I can't do anything about. What was here? Okay, we'll read that later. It feels like I should be able to get out here. Can I hide here? No! I killed him! I killed him! I killed that guy! What? What? I killed that guy! Why is he still alive? <laughs> well, there's another one, I guess. This is... Bruh! This is twisted, man. Like, there's clearly something I'm missing here, right? I mean, like... Well, that's a sign I'm in a really high area because... Uh... Because, uh... He can shoot me from down there? Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna die from that, aren't I? Okay. So I have to go through the poison swamp, basically. That kind of sucks. So I can't go up there. But I don't want to go through the swamp either. <laughs> this is like genuinely cursed. Wait, no, is it already night? Okay, good. I 
I'm wondering if instead of going through the poison swamp, there's like somewhere over here I can go, maybe? Celia Town. So obviously this is like a cursed area of some kind. Or, well, no crap, it's cursed. But I mean, um, some area like uh, where they did did some bad magic stuff and now it's cursed. There was some quote from Miyazaki. Oh, I think I saw that. Like, he was just like, I just love the poison swamps. I can't stop. This is genuinely terrifying, though. Like, I'm just... I don't even have my horse yet. And I'm just, like, warped to this creepy-ass town. Okay. So, okay. So, we can... So, which way is the... So, if I... Oh! That's a go- I thought that was a player, dude! I thought that was a player! Holy shit! Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's just- We just need to run. We just need to run back to the starting area. Can I warp yet? Oh, I'm by- I'm a by America statue. So I can- I can warp now, actually. <laughs> what is this dude? Oh. Okay. Can you, like, not, bruh? Why did I get deep, deep poised? So I don't know, I don't under, quite understand how poise works. Why, why did I get, why did I get kicked? Well, it doesn't matter. I was by America statue, so. So I can just go there. And then warp back, I think. Because the curse is gone, I think, up up in this, this city. This is genuinely so spooky. I mean, it's... Oh, wait. Is this a tree? So we're closer to the tree right here. Oh, the America's down here. Weird. Yeah, the curse is lifted. So we can, we can warp back. Let's go back to somewhere safe. Let's just go back to our, our first step. That was cool. That was genuinely really scary. That was cool. What, what, what do you have to say to me, Alfred? It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff. If you... St no. F off. Let's get, we gotta get our horse and what, what not, all that. So I wanna, let's, can we just go to the road? That's what I wanna do. I also wanna, stupid rider, go away. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like scared of everything in this game. I'm just like, don't wanna go near anything. Okay, just get beast bones off that. Yeah, so the game is... There are mo Oh, there are multiple air trees. Okay. Okay. So why is it called the air tree then? It's kind of weird. Oh, the grace is leading me here. But this isn't Castle Stormvale, is it? That's where he was saying I needed to go, Alfred. Oh, there's a... Church of Ela. Let's get this. Yeah, I know that. I've already been doing it. Oh, there's an original, which is the strongest, powered by the Elden Ring. Okay, that makes sense. So let's talk to this dude over here. You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. So this is just a shopkeep with the shop menu. Uh, so I could actually use. Oh, I lost all my runes in that dumb swamp. Though. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. 
The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. <laughs> so this is basically, this is a, a emaciated Santa Claus. That's interesting that he says tarnished is what keeps it from drying up entirely. It's like the the runes are the economy of, of the world or something that makes sense. You said Vati's video said you could think of it as a parasitic plant and maybe something like the grace points are due. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive. Okay, so out we'll, we'll have it duration. that now. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. You know, you should buy yourself a crafting essential. Really. The kit yeah. Costs okay. A so that's. So dumb. I had so many runes that I lost there. So... So I need the Flask of Wondrous Physic. I need... So these are like map points. Well, I definitely want that. Missionary... Yeah. I want this stuff. So... Crafting kit. I need 300 runes. So I gotta come back here in a sec after I kill some stuff. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. I'm always... Okay, so here I can make my root. Smithing stone. So I'm sure that's, uh... That's, uh... Just what I... It's like a consumable that I have to spend to craft or something. Or, or not to craft, to add armaments. Oh, I got that from the... I have all these strong stuff from getting warped to the, like, poison area. Okay. Wait, so where do I do it? I don't... Where do I go to... <laughs> Come on, man. Um What is it? No, how do I do the where do I do this is where I do the smithing? Yeah, there we go. Okay. With the smithing menu you can spend runes and spinning stones to strengthen your armaments. Oh, so all you need is the stone and runes. So it's actually I thought I was gonna have to like find like special uh I don't know. I don't know why I'm still using this Fal Falchion since it's not even. I mean, the other one's better. I don't know. I don't have any runes. It's just so dumb. I lost all my runes. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to just go to the road and see what's on the road. We got some raid. I'm going away from the road. There's the road. And it goes right to my graveyard. Nice. My finger's dark spot. Come on, man. Yeah, the problem is because I haven't crafted anything yet. I don't know which crafting materials. Should we sneak up on this guy and kill him? Let's do it.
I just realized that I got, I was like, what if, what if he's like, I have to remember this in Souls games, like, what if that was like a dude, like an NPC that I just killed? Kukri? What is Kukri? Oh, this is what I wanted. I wanted a throwing item. Let's, uh... So to add this, I need to... Okay, like that. But so how do I actually use that? Oh, so I actually want to put it up here. Quick item four is what I want, right? What? Oh, it, oh, it just has to be down there, okay. All right. I feel like if that guy was an NPC, this one will be too. Okay, and it wasn't, so. My guilt is assuaged. You're dead. That's so weighty. I love how weighty that is. Oh, we got America here. Uh, America? <laughs> um, well, if we've got America... Oh, it's for the dungeon, I guess. I was going to say there must be some big boss fight here or something. Oh, I got a sh new shield. Nice. So... Wait, that's... Is that better? Oh, it's... Oh, it's better. More defense, more physical, but less physical negation. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Or... Oh, I'll be overloaded if I wear that. Does that mean I have to... Oh. So that's like a sh shield weapon. So am I still overloaded or is it only if they're equipped? Yeah, it's just how much is equipped, okay. Well, let's look at this a little more. Gate front ruins, cool. Cool. Yeah, let's let's explore this area a little bit. So this is okay, so this must be their crest, whoever these guys are. This uh like hippogriff thing. So I wanna find out who they are. I love that you can sneak around, that's cool. Let's do this. Yep, wait, let's switch to our full arm. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> I was like not paying attention. Can you chill, man? We're gonna... S chill, bruh. You gotta chill. Switch to our pull arm and do this. That's sick. I was too focused on trying to do that. 
And as a result, I'm gonna die here. Probably. But that was cool. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh no! Demons is the only one that has item weight? Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, actually it's fine if I die here. There was America right here. That's so weird. It literally sounds like I'm saying the United States of America. That's so funny. Oh no, is it night? Oh. Enemies get buffed at night though. Actually, yeah, let's do our pull arm. Let's do this. Why is he not getting knocked off this time? America, you're freaking me out. All my anger, I scream and shout. Oh, this is the guy I was thinking of before, isn't it? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. The way to switch weapons really does not feel intuitive to me. Especially how to double hand. Like, it's just kind of weird that... I don't know, I think it's kind of weird that you have to, like, hold triangle and then press R1 to... to two hands, just kind of weird. It's like difficult to do well. It's just, I'm kind of just messing around, which is why I'm dying a lot, but also I wouldn't have died if that hadn't confused me. Let's, so let's actually, to make it a little bit easier, let's just for now unequip this. Attack me. Attack me, bro. make this easier actually is I could probably just like backstab this guy yeah let's crouch Let's for a lore moment, let's stop. Look at the, they've got the tree and this hippogriff. This is obviously some kind of, maybe, probably Castle Stormvale. And they're obviously next to the air tree, tree on their, on their crest. This is definitely like a significant, 
this is like something that had the tree or something or a tree and you know this was where their wealth came from and I guess also why they all maybe became like undead when the when the tree uh, when the tree fell after the shattering so yeah very cool Love those details. I'm sure there's more guys. Yeah, there we go. No, not a dog. Not another dog. Please go away. There's two dogs. There's two dogs. Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, those dog, those dogs are way weaker than uh, than the earlier dogs. What is going on with my stance? Like, why why was I not guarding? I mean, my poise was broken, I guess, but like, why though? It doesn't really make sense. Oh, just because he's too strong, basically. I see. So I need to keep that in mind. Like, I can't just sit around uh, guarding all the time. What? Oh, a bolt. Let's do this again. Is this like a Bloodborne deal where you can't get the Visceral if they're on a different uh, elevation than you or something? See, this is what... I'm like, why am I not doing it? It's just weird that you have to hold triangle to... Uh, Switch to the two-handed. It's just weird. And now I need a heal, but I don't have any. But if I had my item crafting, I could make my my berries. That guy looks strong. I don't want to fight him. No, don't chase me down. Don't chase me down. Okay, good. I think this is where I thought I was going with the, uh, <laughs> with the dragon, dragon burnt ruins. I thought I was getting this good item. Don't say liar ahead. Is this going to be a warp again? No, it's not. Okay. With a whetstone knife, so ashes of war are how you add skills to weapons, right? Okay. With a whetstone knife, you can use ashes of war to affinities. Okay. So I can, like, make a sword that's really good against undead when I go into the undead castle or something. Let's look at these items. Wet stone with a cipher inscription, make to, made to look like a small knife blade. Allows the use of asses of war to side of grace to bestow. Oh yeah, it's not very l interesting lore-wise. This ash of war grants an armament to the quality affinity in the following skill. 
the quality affinity. So what is quality? I don't know. Storm Stomp, one of the skills that channel the Tempest... Okay, cool. So that's cool that it's outside of the Stormvale castle. We're getting uh, Stormvale uh, skills, Ashes of War. That's cool. Is there, a, is there a lore explanation of what you can say an Ash of War is? Like the, I guess the ash, burning of leaves, the magic in it, I don't know. That seems kind of cool. But I don't know which... Could I do it right here, or do I need to do it, like, at a smithing station? Where are key items? There. Yeah, I bet I need to go back to that, uh, do it at that shop guy's place. So I think that's the main reason to come here, but let's just quickly go around and see what we got. Oh, oops, oops. my regain man I, I want to get a sick visceral and get some health back why not why can't I do it oh I'm dumb I could have just done it at the I could have just because I have all these rune items why didn't I just use those at the oh no is that going to summon everyone <laughs> That sucks, but that's so cool that he blows the battle horn and they all come. Oh no, not this guy. Not this guy. He's not that strong, actually. I might die, but only because... I don't have any healing and one hit left. Otherwise, he would be dead for sure. Oh, does Breath of the Wild do the summoning? Let's go. Okay, I want to use my sword for these guys. Well, maybe not, actually. This... I didn't need to go for that. I did not need to go for that, and I just did, because I'm dumb. I might just go to the side of Grace. I want to go back to this uh, castle, but I might just go to the side of Grace and uh, upgrade my weapons and buy some stuff. So first off, let's see. First off. Let's see if I can do this here. So I have these. Let's use these. Um, how much do we gain for this? 200. So let's just use these right now. I always, I used to always do this, like keep like at least one of them just so I can read the lore description if I need to. Okay. I 
I actually like the fal the sword, I feel like, better than the falchion. Whatever, it's fine. We'll strengthen this. Oh, and that, that spent my whetstone, right? So I don't have a whetstone anymore. Oh, I have, I have a smithing stone five. That's so funny. The item that gives me runes is uh, this golden rune. Used to gain a small number of runes. Used to gain runes. It's, uh... It gets, like, especially these small ones, there are these skulls around, I assume are old tarnished skulls, that you can, like, break them, and inside is a golden rune. Uh, so it's like the grace of the person left behind. But so how do I do... The Ashes of Warcraft? That's what I want to know. So you don't do it here? You, yeah, you don't. So... So how do I do that? Why can't I use it? We have to. I probably have to take it somewhere, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. The the gray Wait. stuff. Weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? This this is like the uh, emaciated dark Santa Claus. That is the. Uh, version of the old man in Ness Zelda. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, Things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the Tarnished, and mine. Okay, well, so if there was any doubt, it is confirmed that I was the, that I am a Tarnished. And so that's just a nomadic people who survive by trade, basically. And they're going to be the merchants throughout the land, I guess. And that's interesting that um, that they were spurned by the grace of gold. Now I'm getting this, like, Nazi reading of it, you know? Because they were nomadic um, and spurned by the grace of gold. But, uh, yeah, that's... Um, that's interesting. And so what he's saying, I guess, is they didn't change in time you don't need to hear because this, but see that no harm comes to my kin we have a saying we wanderers lament not your solitude expect no sympathy no regard nothing but if anyone dares harm us show them no mercy that is our code so to speak just the way we are deeply unforgiving Yes. So basically, <laughs> gameplay-wise, is saying it. If I hurt this guy, I can never buy anything for the rest of the game because all the merchants are gonna hate me. That's cool. So I wanted to purchase, which would actually be funny, especially if someone hasn't played Souls before. So they just go up and immediately attack the merchant, and then like they can't craft anything the whole game, can't do anything. I don't get what cracked pot items are. Oh, well, I want that, of course. Well, this is an insta purchase. Astrology tool used by members of the Carrion Royal family. During the age of the Aird Tree, Carrion Astrology withered on the vine. During? Wait. The fate once written in the night sky. Oh. 
So prehistory, pre the Erd tree, there was a sense that the astrologers could look to the sky for answers and that there was still some probability in the universe, free will, you know, contingency. But after after the tree, the golden order was established and there was now a precise guided plan of the tree. Yeah, cool. Well, that's an insta buy just because I love having those. But it sucks though that because of that I didn't get any map. Oh. This stuff basically tells me where to go, doesn't it? But it's okay, I want it. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items. That you okay. So let's try this. We finally have crafting. With the item crafting... Yeah, there's... Well, I think so, because there's that uh, glintstone sorcery, which my, my assumption lore-wise is that they're powered by the stars, but that's me reading something that wasn't explicitly stated. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Okay. So I need Ignis to do this for me. <laughs> fire pot. Roped fire pots. These are Molotovs. So I want to get these when I get my horse, but I don't need it actually at this point. Well, I'll definitely make some bone darts. So that's what I wanted. Oh, the rainbow stone stays on the ground. Okay. For right, I'm not planning on doing any stuff summoning right now. So for now, I'm chill on that. But I'll make these bone darts. So I have two of these. And then I will, I already have a rainbow stone, but I'll make one more. Why not? Um, okay. Cool. So I still need to find out after, yeah, I'm something to do with it. Yeah, I think so. That's what I was guessing, like something of the astrologer, something about the stars. But that also makes me realize that the stars are more significant than I actually realized at first. I do want to know who Ella is, the Church of Ella. I want to go back to these gatefront ruins. I probably already saw everything there, but I just want to I want to make sure I saw all the cool stuff. So I'm going to have to kill these enemies again right quick. I also need to find out where my horse is. <laughs> Oh, and get my runes back, obviously. So actually, I could just... I could just follow this, actually. What's over there? I'm curious. Oh, that's just like a fallen, fallen deal. What are these? Oh, just ruin fragments. This is kind of interesting over here. Who are these guys? They're digging. Are they just like foraging for items or is it like they're trying to dig their graves. They cannot die, though they wish. Is that the kind of deal it is?
Let me just see. I'm curious. Do you think they're gonna... Yeah, that's what I was say. They all do this. All this enemy type, when you attack them, they just, like, chill out. Oh, I didn't mean to kill that guy. Oh, this one doesn't. Okay. Man, this game rules. This game straight rules, bruh. The fact that the map doesn't end just tells me that if I look down, there's gonna be stuff down there, yeah. Oh, more of these cursed beaches. What's this? Oh, the owls. I don't want to go down there right now because I think it's going to be the same thing that happened when I went down the other beach. That I'm just going to get wrecked by some crazy world bosses. I don't even know if they're world bosses. Those might have just been very strong enemies, but... Time for dung. I don't want to fight that right now. Is that the dung eater? I don't want to fight that right now. Come back later for that. Yeah, I gotta come back later for that. I don't want to fight the dung eater right now. It's not a good idea to attack these, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, it's just like turtles. No, it's not. What is this? What is this? Oh, I'm getting like poisoned or something. Great track. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is this I got? Great dragonfly. Great dragonfly head. Oh, the dragonfly neutralizes poisons, presumably because it is poisonous. So this is in miniature, I guess, one of the many, many, uh, uh, poison swamps that Miyazaki has put in the game. And what's that? Root secreted. Oh, root. So, yeah. So, at the bottom of the great tree, you're going to see this one is the, the amber. We're once linked to those of the air tree, or so they say. Okay, catacomb. Yeah, so that must be where the dung eater is because it's the catacombs uh, built around the air tree. Okay. This is just so beautiful. 
Jeez. Oh yeah, there really are trees everywhere. They don't seem as big as that one though, or is it just this one's closer? I don't know. So I wanted to equip these knives. How do I do that? Or bone darts, rather. May they're all outgrowths of the original and they get progressively smaller and weaker the further. That makes sense. Oh, well, yeah, and trees do that. They have the big root systems underground, so that could actually totally make sense. That's cool, yeah. It's like it's all one big tree growing out. That makes sense a lot. Okay, I want to avoid the horn guy. At least kill as many as I can before. Sorry, buddy, but you're dead. Never mind, you're too fast, you're not dead. Can't we settle this over a pint? Still, it begs the question if the original air tree was. Oh, true. Yeah. So is that is that is that what you're? So the air tree was created by the Elden Ring. Is that right? Okay, let's sneak up on this guy. Why? I thought this whole point of this attack is it's supposed to break their shield. Oh, I see. It's powered by it, huh? Interesting. Yeah, so obviously this is like gate front ruins. So are these like undead that are, they were guarding the castle, but 
Now there's kind of nothing left to guard type of deal. But they're like cursed to continue to guard it. Sorry, guys. I am not playing well. We can go to the Marika. Can you... Is it just you die? Yeah, I guess it's just you die and go back to Marika. You can't, like, go heal at a Marika while you're alive. Oh, no. Is it dark? So many wasted runes. So many wasted runes. Oh, I was thinking that was my runes for some reason. Clearly this was like a lookout for Castle Stormvale. Also if the Elden Ring... Yeah, true. That life itself came from the Air Tree since... Yeah, that makes sense. Or came from the Elden Ring, rather. That makes sense, for sure. I thought... This two-handed crap is kind of annoying, I have to be honest. Like... Like what? It's such a weird way to become two-handed, and so I always think I am two-handed and I'm not. Like why can't it just be a button to switch two-handed? why I keep crouching. It's, no, it's the triangle, you have to hold, the normal triangle button is like, brings up the UI like that. But if you hold triangle and press R1 for your right-handed weapon, and or L1 for your left-handed weapon, then it does. But so it takes like two button presses instead of one. It just, I'm sure I'll get used to it, but it's just like kind of weird. I did it again just there. Yeah, I know it's weird. I don't know why they changed it. I guess I guess it's because they needed an extra button for jump now, but I still feel like there could have been a better way to do it.
I didn't even drop an item. Come on. I'm trying to clear this place out before I attack the guy that blows the horn <laughs> to make this easier. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you have invincibility for that. Otherwise, that was about to be annoying. See, that was annoying because I was holding triangle. Like, I was trying to two-hand. I was not trying to attack. It's... How is it still not two-handed? Oh, there is like a treasure chest in there, isn't there? That's weird. It looks like a treasure chest, but... Oh, oh, you can open it. <laughs> Nice. Let's check this before we wreck this. I can't. What's the problem? I don't have. Oh, I don't have high enough dexterity. That's too bad. I still don't know how to level up. Like, I, I think, can I, I can't do it, right? Yeah, I need to find someone to talk to. Probably the maiden. That's probably what it means that I'm maidenless gameplay wise. Oh, nice. Is that good? Uh, is that better than what I have? Oh, it's worse overall yeah we don't need that Okay, here goes my last healing item. I don't know why that guy keeps crouching. Dead. This guy's just like I'm walking around. I don't. I didn't hear anything. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Let's switch. Okay, I think we cleared it out. Yeah, we cleared it out. What's here? The pleasure of jumping. <laughs> Phrase the piercing butthole. My goodness. 
You guys are relentless. I really need to go heal. But if I heal, all these guys are gonna come back. Ooh, I wanna go see that over there. Treasure chest, but I ain't. Yeah, I know, that's what I was just thinking. So sad. But is it a chest or is it a, um. Is it a, uh. A, um. A tomb, or a, uh, what is it called? A casket. Much to think on this night. Well, there's one more guy over there. I just want to make sure I get this before he dies. But doesn't this. If I go to that, only if I rest at it, right? If I rest at it, they all come back. So dangerous. No! Oh, and they're all back now. I killed so many of them. Wait, this will, this won't take me back to the shop, will it? It'll take me back to the one I just cleared. I hope. Yeah. The horn blowers here. Is this another treasure chest? Great sword, nice. Critical, yeah, this is just better in every way. What is the... Yeah, so okay, so this, this lore tip gives us the proof that the soldiers are like undead or crane or in, insane or something, because Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it appears to have otherwise been kept in a serviceable condition, despite the soldiers having long since lost their minds. So the Lord Sworn is probably the Lord of Castle Stormvale, and there they've lost their minds post the uh, the shattering. Skill Stamp Upward Cut, Brace Armament is up to a low stance that prevents recoil. Cool. I like that. Wait, what? Oh, my strength is not high enough, but I can raise my... Well, I don't know how to level up, so it's like... This is probably... Yeah, this is... Big, slow, great sword. Yeah. Looks like my stats aren't high enough to wield it, I guess, unless I... I double... Uh... I, I double... Dual... Whatever it is, double hand it. Gate front ruins. Okay, we've seen what I'd say we need to see here. So the other thing I want to do is use this item I got that I think tells me somewhere to go on the map. Where is this? I still don't know how to attach the ashes of war. 
Why are these equipped? Oh, no, get, leave me alone, you little. Sick. Very cool. Okay. Where's the thing I bought? Or does it just automatically go on my map? Yeah, how do I use my... I bought this thing. That shows me... Oh, maybe you do level up at grace points. If so... Well, let's see, actually. Is that how it is in Dark Souls? Oh no, I brought all the enemies back to life. Oh, whoa. Cutscene. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. I think I just got my leveling up. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah. Another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Okay. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Okay. Yeah, I think I saw this on... I guess, like, you do level up at, um... At, uh... Grace, uh, Grace Points, but you need, uh, to meet her first before Shall you can I do it. Yes, please do. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts... Your ambitions. My thoughts. The principles you would follow. I like that. That like... Oh, I don't even have enough to level up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't have any, do I? Because I died. Oh, that's annoying. I have 128. Okay. I, I don't... I have no idea what build I'm doing. I might just do one of those builds where I just build what I need to use the weapons I want instead of like actually thinking through a build. Can I just, so I can do the Ashes of War now also. 
You can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments. Okay. So... I want to try this. Ash of War. What does that mean? Quality does what? I don't know what that means. So like for quality build? Meaning... I just want to add, so now this should have, okay, so I've got my horse now, so that's good. So we'll, we'll summon the horse in a second. From pouches in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. How, how did I do that? I actually do want to equip this. Equipment. 